that, whatever. So I've been doing this for a long time. Um, and so Kyle and I go way back to like high school football player. Yeah, I remember that he came out to one of my camps and I was like, this guy's a stud. And so we trained together. So we've been close like that for a long time. And he says that when he graduated and quit his job, he called me and asked me, like, did he think he would be well in PT? I said, do you be an awesome coach? Because he's always had that, that thing why you guys love him, right? Like he's, a, he's a natural leader and he's got talent. He's got an awesome background. So. Um, all right, so me, um, my company's called the K-Bell Training Academy. It is 10 years old. Uh, I've been teaching kettlebell surgery across North America for a long, long time. Uh, what makes my course a little bit different than some of the other ones is I really focus on teaching you how to teach stuff. Uh, when I deal with fitness professionals, I mean, we are all great with our bodies, so there's nothing I'm gonna do that you guys can't figure out really quickly. Uh, the biggest challenge with kettlebell lifting is your understanding of what it is so you can actually kind of apply the tool really, really well, okay? So, um, Kyle asked me specifically to talk about the swing, so that's gonna be the topic of today. And I'm gonna give you guys a framework of what it is, how it works, and hopefully you guys will be able to apply it better. Okay, so question number one with the swing um, is what is the swing? Okay, so when I say the swing, this is what you guys think. Is that right? Like that's what you guys consider the swing as an exercise. That's the one that's popular, that's the one that's really well known. Okay, and so um, I would say that there's two ways to understand what the swing is. Uh, it's an exercise, a movement, and we, and we can categorize it how you, how you want. And then if you break down kettlebell lifting, anytime you think of a kettlebell exercise, you always have this momentum to it. Like think about uh, cleaning, snatching, like that's, that's the nature of what the shape makes it do. So in kettlebell lifting, as a sport, we say that there's three classic lifts. There's the clean, the jerk, and the snatch. And in all of those lifts, part of the movement is called the swing. So this is what we call the back swing. Back swing to get ourselves ready to clean. Or I back swing to decelerate my snatch. Does that make sense? Okay, so there's a swing of the exercise and then there's a swing part of the movement. So, okay, now think about you and your clients and what you're trying to do and how you're trying to apply stuff. So, you want them to have the benefits of working in the triple extension, right? Because we all know what that means. And we want them to have the cardiovascular and the connectivity um, benefits of kettlebell lifting. Yes? So, to do that well, you need to be able to hold that movement pattern for a long, long time. Or to get efficient at that movement pattern. So, it's easy. So, they can move up in weight. They can be stronger. So here's the argument I make. Um, the swing, the exercise, is like this big power exercise, right? And in the realm of how we teach people how to move, we would teach them to be stable and controlled before we teach them to be explosive and, and fast, correct? And so that big swing that we teach is an explosive and fast movement. So what I'm gonna offer you guys today are some basic things that you guys can use, some skills that can help you guys teach the swing better. Some of the stuff you obviously know, like obviously you guys go through deadlifts. Um, I'm gonna give you guys good mornings, and then I'm gonna teach you guys a series called the short lever swing. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna like do them all real quick, and then we can put that down, and then you guys can get it when you guys try it, because I think that's ultimately what you guys wanna do. Okay, so deadlift, I know you guys know what to do. A different one you guys are gonna try is called the kettlebell good morning. And so we teach you kettlebell good mornings to get folks strong through the posterior chain and teach them how to hinge under load and help them understand how to really keep their low back really, really strong. Okay, so I would teach that with body weight like this. And when I teach that as a skill, I'm teaching people how to get the external rotation at their hips, how to really like light up all of the muscles on their, their adductors so they can really hold the line of strength in their legs. And then you load it.
and then you can load it like different ways. So we're gonna try all that, okay? So once you kind of use those things to get the patterns in, the next thing we're gonna do is teach momentum before you teach people how to swing. So this is a part of the movement we call around the body. And if you can get people just used to the weight, you'll get a lot of different patterns out of them way easier. Until they don't have to think about this way anymore. Make sense? Okay, so that's what we're going to try today. Thank you, video people.